I'm Steve Foskett, and this is Worcester by Bike. Good morning, and welcome to episode six of Worcester by Bike. We're here in the common. It's a bit of a gray day. Sun's starting to peek out a little bit. It's a little raw out there. So today we're going to head up to the Harvey Ball Conservation Area off Granite Street, which includes the Smiley Face Trail and possible rumored connections between the Blackstone Heritage Corridor Visitor Center and Broadmeadow Brook. I've heard about them. I've never quite been able to figure it out. I've done recon a couple times, but today we're going to try to nail it down. Come along. So here we are at the Blackstone Heritage Carter Visitor Center. This is going to be our starting point. We're going to zig and zag a little bit, but we're here. You can see over here, we've got the bike path. Over here, we have Blackstone Gateway Park, which was episode one of Worcester by Bike, if you want to review that. It's gorgeous this time of year, by the way. We are going to start our search up here on Providence Street. That's where I've heard that the there's a small entrance up there. We're gonna give it a shot. So, we're here at Broadmeadow Brook. This is the Granite Street entrance to Broadmeadow Brook. The main entrance with the, the visitor center and everything like that is on Massasoit Road. I will say I got here in a really roundabout way. I thought I was gonna find the trailhead to connect me to the Harvey Ball area, which would connect me to here, but no go. I got turned around a lot. I felt like I was sort of trespassing in a couple of places, so I'm not gonna really show that, show where I was. There was some habitation going on here and there. I got lost, which is kind of rare for me in the city, living here my entire life. But here I am on Granite Street, right down from Holy Name, entrance to Mass Audubon, Broadmeadow Brook. Now we're gonna try to find the Harvey Ball Conservation Area. Well, not try to find, I know where it is. It's right down the street. Granite Street's kind of a nice street to ride a bike on. It's a little swoopy, it's in good shape. So here we are in the Harvey Ball Conservation Area. Sort of a fire row with a little trail. The, the, the trails are marked with smiley faces, which as we all know, Harvey Ball came up with the smiley face. 1960s, he was a commercial artist. He did the work freelance, I believe, for an insurance company that had merged in Worcester with another company and morale was low and they wanted something to, to, to brighten things up in the office so he came up with a smiley face. Never trademarked it or copyrighted it, never made a lot of money off of it, but lived in Worcester, lived off of June Street I believe most of his life, died in 2001. His family owned this plot of land. They reached a deal with the city in the mid 2000s to uh, put some conservation restrictions on it. The, the city bought it with some help from some state funding and in the end it's protected, it's a sanctuary, it's connected to Broadmeadow Brook, and it's beautiful. And it's nice to be outside. I got lost, ran around today, ran around the woods. A little scary at some points. So I felt like I was uh, where I wasn't supposed to be, but you're outside. It's nice, it's beautiful, it's lush, it's green. Across the street, which is where we're gonna go next, is the Harvey Ball uh, Smiley Face Trail, which that's what originally I was under the impression because there's a map that says down to the bike trail, 146 Tobias Bolin Way. That's what the map says, but it doesn't really show you where exactly it is, just sort of you're guessing. But we're gonna take one last stab at it, the, the Smiley Face Trail. Hopefully I don't get too far off track like I have been for the past hour and a half. Two seconds of battery left, I can tell you that I finally found it, right at the end. I was so wrong, I was so very wrong. I made things really complicated for myself. I could not have been any farther from where I thought I was supposed to be finding this trail. But it's really nice. Meanders down from Granite Street. You just follow those smiley faces all the way down. You come out sort of behind this auto body shop at the corner of Blackstone River Road and Millbury Street. That's the connection, essentially, with the visitor center. You just have to go down the bike path a little bit behind Sam's Club, pops you out, and there you go. Essentially, I think we learned two things today. One is that getting lost is fun, and it's still possible in the city of Worcester to get lost, get to these more wooded areas. And we learned that there is indeed a connection between the Heritage Carter Visitor Center 
and Broad Meadow Brook via the Harvey Ball Conservation Area and Smiley Face Trail. It's just a little bit further down the bike path, which is connected to the visitor center now. So, so that's uh, that's legit. And I believe the Smiley Face Trail is no bikes, just like everything else. As again, I can't stress that enough. I don't want people getting confused. This is Worcester by bike, but some of the places we go, you're not supposed to actually ride your bike through. But it's fun just to get there. Thank you for joining us, episode six of Worcester by Bike. We'll see you next time.